What is going on guys? Grave here. Today there was some massive news revolving around Bethesda and of course Microsoft. I was going to save this to my end of the week kind of gaming news video, but this news is pretty massive so I decided to go ahead and make a separate video about it. Today we got informed that Microsoft has acquired the parent company of Bethesda, which is ZeniMax Media, for $7.5 billion. Uh, the Xbox blog post uh, where Xbox head Phil Spencer outlined the deal. This includes games like The Elder Scrolls, Fallout, Wolfenstein, Doom, Dishonored, Prey, Quake, along with some unreleased games like Starfield. Uh, they said that Bethesda was early to support the Game Pass with offerings like The Elder Scrolls. And moving forward, Bethesda's li uh, library will be added to the service. This will include launch day releases for future projects like Starfield. So Microsoft now owns the parent company of Bethesda. This is going to give Microsoft around nine new studios. This is going to be Bethesda Softworks, Bethesda Game Studios, ID Software, uh, Zenimax Online Studios, Arcane Machine Games, Tango Gameworks, Alpha Dog, and Roadhouse Studios. They really did not mention what's going to go on now with the game Deathloop, which was supposed to be a planned PlayStation exclusive title. In the past, if anyone has acquired something after a planned title was already, you know, talked about or a third party a kind of supported title was already in the works, that really didn't change anything, but we'll have to wait and see exactly how that's going to go. I did find this kind of interesting, though, because there's a lot of games out there, you know, that a lot of people play, you know, Doom, uh, Wolfenstein, some of the things I talked about kind of begin with. The new Elder Scrolls game, which was teased years ago at uh, E3, it really has not been talked about since. They talked about those type of games coming to Game Pass on day one. Of course, Starfield is the game that really is kind of the next game that Bethesda has been talking about the most. The game they said that would be released before The Elder Scrolls. It looks like these games are going to be on Game Pass day one. I'm kind of curious, of course, about The Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, you guys are seeing some gameplay of that in the background. Of course, Zenimax uh, Online Studios is one of the companies that is behind The Elder Scrolls Online. So I'm curious to see if that's going to be on Game Pass Day 1 when the Xbox Series X and the Xbox Series S is released. If that is the case, uh, Microsoft has struck up a, a pretty impressive deal here to get a lot of Bethesda games in that Game Pass. Also, to probably do a lot of exclusives with uh, Xbox in the future and some things for PC as well. So it looks like if you're an Xbox fan, if you own a PC, you know you have Game Pass on PC. A lot of these games from Bethesda that you may really like, a lot of these games from these companies that Bethesda you know, kind of works with. It looks like you're going to have a lot of uh, maybe exclusive content in the future that's going to be on, you know, Xbox and PC first. We'll kind of have to wait and see how this is going to work out. I'm assuming it's going to be a pretty smooth transition. I don't see a lot of big changes or anything like that coming from Microsoft to these companies. Uh, just keep in mind, uh, you know, companies kind of do this a lot. You know, some, you know, a larger company will buy some of these smaller companies. If you can kind of look uh, at Microsoft in the past, they did buy uh, or did have you know, uh, Bungie working for them for a long time, you know, doing Destiny 1, Destiny 2. Of course, that did not work out, you know, after a while. But overall, is, this is not an odd thing to happen, but it was some massive news considering all the games uh, Bethesda and, of course, some of those development teams that work with Bethesda. They make a lot of different games, a lot of fan favorite games. And I, like I said, I think this is a pretty massive deal from Microsoft. So, if you're an Xbox fan or a PC fan, like I said, if you're going to own a new Xbox, if you own a PC, you own the Game Pass, it looks like you're going to have some pretty nice looking uh, titles coming your way in the future. Anyway, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And be sure to check out everything down in the description, GT Racing, the Community Discord, and of course, my Twitter. I'll catch you all next time. Peace.